Hey everybody, I'm Travis with Tech Accessories, and today what we have for you is a review on the Blue Icicle XLR to USB microphone adapter. We're going to compare this to the Blue Yeti and see how it stacks up. Very simple packaging and let's just dive right into it. It does say on the back, the Icicle is an all-in-one professional quality USB converter and mic preamp that allows you to connect any XLR microphone directly to your computer via USB. So here we have the Icicle adapter. It is very light, pretty light duty, no heavy metals on it. Seems a little flimsy, but overall, if it does its job, it doesn't really matter. You do get included a USB cable. It is a USB mini, not micro or USB-C. You do get your Icicle user guide. And you do get a brief description card in many languages. Okay, the components you're gonna need to use this Icicle is an XLR cord microphone cord. You're going to need your XLR microphone, the blue icicle, and of course the USB cord. Together this setup full retail value would be $89.99 for the microphone and around $40 for the icicle adapter. So all in you're probably looking at about $120 to $130 plus tax and shipping depending on where you buy. And we're gonna be comparing it to the Blue Yeti USB microphone. I'm gonna send it over to Ken to get some specs on the audio. Again, we're keeping it raw audio, comparing the two microphones in the adapter and which one works best in a USB setup. Thank you very much, Travis. Hi, everybody. My name is Ken. I'm also with Tech Accessory. Today, we're actually going to be talking about two different types of microphone setups. One is just a pure USB microphone setup, which is the Blue Yeti, which is what I'm currently recording on. Over here, I have a Audacity set up just to kind of give you the raw audio. This is not going to be edited. This is not going to be compressed. But this is what I have my Blue Yeti set up to right now. Uh, as you can tell, the audio is pretty crisp, pretty clear. Not a lot of background noise. Uh, so what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be comparing the Blue Yeti to the Blue Icicle. Uh, the Blue Icicle is, of course, a XLR to USB converter. It's uh, roughly about 30, 40 bucks from what I've seen online. With a little bit of editing magic, we're just going to cut. But pretty much, I'm going to be taking this microphone here, which is from Blue. And this is the Encore 100i. And we're going to have this plugged into the Blue Icicle. And we're going to mess around with the audio levels a bit. But first, we're just going to give you a straight off the bat experience with the plug in of the microphone. Okay, so right now, I actually have the. Uh, blue icicle activated when it's plugged in when it's turned on it actually is a nice little blue i have the gain turned all the way up i have the volume on my microphone for my settings on my computer turned all the way up as well this is roughly the exact same distance that i have for the microphone from my blue yeti okay so i want to pause for a second and just go over this audio with you guys we haven't done any editing to this point, but the next clip I'm about to show, we're gonna go ahead and boost the levels a little bit post-production and see what kind of levels we get. But so far, we're not really seeing anything that's crazy good. So I'm gonna give it back over to Ken, unpause the video, and we'll go over the same exact audio clip with a little bit of After Effects. This is roughly the exact same distance that I have for the microphone from my Blue Yeti. This is roughly the exact same distance that I have for the microphone from my Blue Yeti. Now, with the Blue Icicle, it does give you phantom power. Phantom power gives you a little bit more oomph for your bigger condenser microphones for such things as voiceovers. Now, as you can see here, the wavelength is very, very small. I don't know exactly how loud I am, but I can see that I'm not being picked up very well when compared to the Blue Yeti. The Blue Yeti, I barely had any gain at all. So now, this is me 
having to hold the microphone really close to my face. Now, once again, this is a comparison using a certain type of microphone with a certain type of XLR to USB adapter compared to a regular digital microphone. We're using strictly blue products here. XLR, you could probably hear that. That's what this is. So this runs as a cord from your XLR or a manual type or a old school type of setup into the blue icicle from here, which converts it into a digital sound from here, and it goes into your computer. Now, as you can see, I actually have to hold this microphone pretty close to my face uh, just to get any kind of sound whatsoever. So I do want to pause real quick because the Encore and the Icicle are actually performing much better closer to the mouth than they did previous. So it could be the way we have this set up that's really lacking the performance when it's further away. And with the right setup, it could be better further away than it is here. But overall, we are getting good performance within, you know, six to eight inches away from you, which isn't too bad if you are doing voiceovers sitting at a computer. So if I were to turn the gain down on this microphone to about 50%, which is still more than what I have the Blue Yeti turned down to, you can see the big difference and hear the difference in quality of the actual microphone itself. All right, and that is the result of the Blue Yeti compared to the Blue Icicle with the Blue Encore 100i plugged into it. Honestly, at this point, me, myself, and I, I would give it over to the Blue Yeti 100% and just say, grab a Blue Yeti. But uh, let's go ahead and see what Travis has to say. Okay, what we've learned about the Icicle is it is a good, cheap alternative to, you know, some expensive mixing board. And it's a really good use for a microphone that does require phantom power. That being said, it will require some additional setup and it will require additional post editing as opposed to something like the Blue Yeti or a, just any good USB microphone. So for anyone that does already have an XLR microphone that's good quality, this is a good option and I definitely give it a thumbs up. But if you don't and you're just looking for a good USB setup, for your streaming or your podcasts, honestly, the Icicle is probably not a good route for you. Oh, I got it, I got it. Mm. Is it recording? Yep. Oh, shit.